I put a bunch of NBA players in a marbles race. The top 10 marbles that finish will become my new team. And we're going to simulate one season to see if they can win an NBA championship. We're going to see how many rings we can win in six different tries. All right, well, here is the first race. As you can see, all the marbles have every single player's name on it and also their overall. We got Fulton in the lead. That would be a great addition to our team. We're coming up to the end of the race here. And Donovan Mitchell right now is in the league. Going to be one of our top 10 players. All right, well, here is the end. So we got Donovan Mitchell first. We got KCP. We got Chris Duarte, Eric Gordon, Yusuf Nurkic. We got Isaiah Roby, Nicholas Casandelis, Billy Bancaro, and Torian Prince. That's our top 10. Well, can this team be at least a playoff team? I'm not too sure, but we're going to find out. No matter what video idea I come up with, this will never change. None of our players made an NBA team. And the Bobcats are somehow the fifth seed. I don't know how this team won 48 games, but I guess D. Mitch was carrying. <laughs> okay, yeah. D. Mitch was definitely carrying, dropping in 28 a game. And Nurk is dropping a double-double. Well, let's see if this team's playoff made. We got the Warriors. And we're actually somehow going to sweep this team. We just swept the Warriors with this team. Well, that's a pretty good start. Now we got Dallas. And we just took down the Mavs in game seven. This team is somehow in the conference finals. No idea how. And now we got to play the Clippers. This is where we should lose. This is the most 2K thing I've ever seen in my life. Nurk is shutting the screen for D-Mitch. D-Mitch going to fade from three. God, there's no way. Mitchell trying to drive right here. Nowhere to really go. Got to the basket though. Lays it up. And then Donovan Mitchell putting the team on his back again. Kawhi bringing it up. Going to try to drive to the basket. Nothing really there. Pull up mid-range. He missed it. Rebound by Baisley. And that's going to do it. And now we got to play the Sixers. This should be where we lose. It was a long, hard-fought series. But we're going to lose in six. Bankero dropped 44 in this game. They're trying to keep us alive. Wow, Demich kind of choked. Kind of. He definitely choked. I guarantee you, this race, we're going to get a team that's way better, but they're going to be out in like the first round or something. That's just how 2K works. So far, we see, I see John Morant right there, at least in the top five. Okay, that should be pretty good for us. Oh my God, Kareem Abdul Jabbar is in the lead right now. He might finish first. If we get Kareem, we are winning the championship. We're coming up to the end here. Andrew Wig is going to finish first. We got John Morant. We got Dinwiddie. We got Nurkic, Aaron Gordon, Gobert, Sabonis, Olenek, and Dylan Brooks. Well, we should definitely win the championship with this team and watch how 2k does us wow shocker there luca mvp and john morant made first team all nba wow and well i guess 2k respects this team first seed they won 56 games pretty good job put up 33 6 and 11 oh my god putting up donovan mitchell numbers that's a crazy comparison but i mean that's what d mitch was doing for us last year now we gotta play the warriors in the first round and we're gonna get them with a gentleman sweep so bonus with 27 and 6 job with 24 and 13 balling out now we got the pelicans in the second round tough team let's close them out here okay i have no idea why the Warriors court is here on the Bobcats. I, I have no idea what's going on here. We're just going to deal with it. They're going to post up Nurkic on McCollum. That's a mismatch. Pump fake. Go, go up. Okay, I don't know why he waited so long. Down, give it to McCollum. McCollum with a deep three. Misses it. Rebound, Dinwiddie. And we are going to the conference finals. Ja with 45 and 12 in a closeout. This is insane. This is literally a perfect basketball game. Well, now we somehow have to play the Lakers in the conference finals. And Westbrook doesn't start. Literally every series we've played and it's been a gentleman's sweep. And yes, Westbrook is on this team. He, again, just comes off the bench. Well, I guess we'll see if we can do it with this team. We're going up against the Sixers again. So this Bobcats team was only one game better. They're going to go out in seven here the team before just went out in six that's bare i mean it's an improvement obviously but damn we kind of that's kind of ass well here's marble race number three let's hope we get a, a, a somehow a better team than what we had before well right now isaiah stewart's in the lead i don't know how that much that's really helping us oh my god it's gonna come down to this spiral right here whoever actually gets down at the end and we're coming up to the end here tobias harris finishing desmond bain we got who else is finishing right here jaron jackson Cade cunningham we got Jakob, clay thompson juhade and max this is just a very balanced basketball team we actually have a pretty good chance because we took max Maxi and Harris off of the Sixers. So that made them a lot worse. So let's see how well this team does. Well, Luka once again MVP. And no Bobcats made an NBA team as expected. And we just snuck into the playoffs as a six seed. Wow, we had no one even drop 20 a game. This is literally the most balanced team you could possibly get. We got to play John the first round. We took Jaron Jackson and Bane away from him though. And we're actually going to take him down in six. I don't expect to go any farther than this though. This is where we should stop. Yeah, this Clipper team is way better than us. There's no way we beat them. Well, I guess I just don't know ball because we're going to go ahead and win in six. We've had two very questionable basketball basketball teams and both of them at least made it to the conference finals and now we have the one seed timberwolves who have themselves a pretty damn good team why is this game so high scoring Cade gonna get double team kicks it to harris for three got it one point lead and gonna get a streak from gobert and i thought he was gonna pull the fade away three and he does pull a contested and he misses it rebound by Jakob gives it to drew holiday gotta make this second one to make it a three oh my god how do you sell that eight seconds left hayward gonna have the ball gonna post up gobert you're gonna put the hands of your championship with gobert and he what rudy gobert at the line to go up one 
And he makes it! No timeouts for the Bobcats. We're going to be going to a game seven because of our Rudy Gobert back down post hook. That might have been the worst way to ever lose a basketball game. And the Bobcats are out of here in seven. What a way to lose. Wow, we got obliterated too. I mean, Ant put up 46, Towns 36. What are you supposed to do about that? We definitely need some star power. We just had a lot of very good players. We need, we need like a superstar or two. This is like kind of making my head dizzy looking at them trying to go down this hole. Anyway, Fred Van Vliet in the lead. Okay, I wouldn't mind Fred on the team. And Jason Tatum right behind him. We are coming up to the end here. Let's see if JT falls in one of those holes. Okay, we got Fred Van Vliet. If we could just get Tatum. Please, Tatum, please fall down. Ta the okay, we got Tatum. We got Zion. We got Taylor Horton Tucker. We got D-Lo, Buddy Heald, Maxi, and Brandon Ingram. This is a championship team. If this team can't win the championship, then I don't know what can. We have Zion coming off the bench. Just the casual Luka 40-point triple-double MVP. And Jason Tatum made third team All-NBA. A little concerning, but our team is pretty balanced. Dang, we were only the fourth seed? What? I feel like we should be better than that. Tatum played good. Zion played pretty well. Ingram played solid. I guess there's a bit of a drop off after that, but we have such a balanced team with pretty much almost two superstars with Zion and Jason Tatum, man. Come on. By the way, I'm not calling Zion a superstar now. I'm just saying he's the caliber debris. I don't want to get fact checked on that. But anyway, we're playing the Timberwolves. And we're just barely going to take down the Wolves in seven. We were actually up 3 0 in the series. They almost blew a 3 0 lead. That would have been really bad. Now we're going to play Luka and the Mavericks. Okay. And this game actually went overtime, but it's over. My bad. I, I was going to, like, just keep going, but then they came back and went to OT. It, it is what it is. JT, Ingram, and Zion all balled out this game. Okay. Now we got to play the Clippers to make our way to the finals. And we're going to take them down on a gentleman. So we might be getting our first championship here. And we got to play the Cavs in the finals. 2K loves the Cavs. This is going to be tough. And that right there will be our first championship. I mean, it only took Tatum, Zion, and Brandon Ingram. You know, that's all it took to win a championship. But we still got it done. All right. Well, here we got track number five. And Akeem Olajuwon going to find. We still have yet to get an NBA legend. I'd like to at least get one legend throughout the course of this video. Or Marcus Smart. Yeah, that'd be great too. Whichever one. You know, it don't matter. We got Mitchell Robinson and Demond. Sabonis had a commanding lead for first and second. Okay, I don't know what's about to happen here. They just, oh, oh, okay. They bounce right into the hole there. Well, I don't know how Mitchell Robinson got so ahead of everyone, but I guess we got our starting center potentially. Ooh, now we got Trey Young on the team. Okay, this team is already looking good. Chris Middleton coming in third right here. We got Josh Hart, Casey P. Bogdanovich. We got Zion. We got Fultz. Then we have two spots left for some guys. We got Wendell Carter and Collins. Oh, we could have had Harden, man. Damn. I don't know how we got Zion again, but let's see how good this team does. Well, another 40 point triple double for Luka. And Trey Young made all NBA third team. And we were somehow a top two seed. I'm impressed. Trey dropping 27 and 12. Zion giving us 22 even. Middleton giving us 15. That's great. Let's see if we can take down John in the first round. Well, first round's gonna be a gentleman sweep. There we go. Now we gotta play Jokic in the Nuggets. We got a game seven. Zion gonna post up here with eight seconds. I'm on the shot clock with a post hook. Gets it to go. Three point lead. MPJ doing a bunch of pump fakes. Trying to drive on Middleton. Nowhere to really go. Kicks it out to Bones. Three seconds up on the shot clock. Bones doing a lot of nothing. Fade away. Mid range. Misses it. Rebound Zion. That should do it. And we're going their conference finals we got a pretty good team here so it makes sense we got minnesota again man this has become a troublesome team well not troublesome enough because we are going to the finals trey young with 38 and 7 made eight threes in a closeout game six can we finally beat this sixers team in the finals and the answer to that question is still no losing out in seven games we've gone to two seven game series in a six game series and still just can't close it out here is our sixth and final marbles race i'm glad i'm gonna be ending this video knowing i already won a championship but you know winning two can't hurt so let's try to get a good team here. We like Brandon Ingram. We like McCollum. Uh, those are people we like. This is a very close race. Like, all the marbles are next to each other. Well, I like seeing Kareem there in the top 10. I like to give me some Kareem. Is he actually going to finish top? Oh my god, are we actually going to get Kareem here? We actually just got Kareem. We got Kareem, John Morant, and Tatum. Yeah, this team is winning the championship 100%. And here is the team. Three superstars on one team. Yeah, this team is 100% winning it all. And Luka for the final time winning MVP. Kareem made all NBA 13. That feels disrespectful along with Tatum. And of course, we're the first seed. Yeah, you know, we only won 70 games. That's all. Kareem had a pretty good year dropping 26 and 15. Tatum dropping 25. John Moran dropping 21 and 11. Like, you know, there's nothing going on here. We got the Suns in the first round. I'll see what happens. And it's going to be a gentleman sweep. I'm surprised they even got a game on us. They beat us in game one by nine and Booker at 35. Now we got the Warriors in the second round. They're starting Wiseman. And I think Kareem versus Wiseman is a pretty steady mismatch. So yeah, we're going to take that. Now we got Dallas in the conference finals going up against Luka. And this looks like it'll be our first sweep. And it is. Yeah, we just won and we're going to fight. Oh, we need to finally take down this stupid Sixers team. Like, you guys are not that good. I'm not buying into the hype, bro. I'm not buying it. Although Harden was looking kind of crazy opening that. I gotta give him that. We can get him with a sweep right here. Let's see what Maxi does. Maxi gives it to Embiid. Mitchell Robinson guarding him. Oh, there is no way. Joe, he almost made that. Seven seconds left. What is Ja gonna do? We got four seconds left on the shot clock. Good, he's a screen here. Ja with the pull-up mini. 
missed it, and we're probably going to go to overtime. And we're going to leave it up to the overtime simcast, and we are definitely going to go ahead and win this. Clap it up for Kareem, man. Coming to the modern era, getting himself a championship. Congrats, man. I mean, Embiid balled out, bro. <laughs> I can't even hate, man. He did his thing, but I mean, Kareem just too much. It is what it is. De'Aaron Fox dropping 26. Well, the Marbles won us two championships. Goodbye.